So New Earth Prophecy. Coming 12,000 CE Common Era into the future, South America and specifically Brazil and the Amazon rainforest will be considered the, it will be considered the, um, the nursery. It will be considered the swaddling cloth. It will be considered the mother's nest, mother's breast milk. It is considered the Mother Mary protected lands. I have a beautiful picture of Mother Mary in the protected lands. And if you get my website newsletters, you get all these pictures in the newsletters. If you like them, if they inspire you. Uh, but yeah, the Mother Mary protected lands, a future location of a golden light city. Okay, we've talked about the golden light cities and how these will manifest coming into the future and that they will be bringing forth cathedrals of learning, teaching humanity of a new way of existing, peace, grace, and love, and honor, integrity of the highest timelines. But in the Amazon rainforest, this will be where highly evolved life streams will embody the earth. And as of right now in the Amazon, we have hundreds of indigenous uncontacted people and tribes in the Amazon rainforest. There's hundreds of, of tribes of people that live there, okay, technically in secrecy to the rest of the world. Most of the rest of the world doesn't know they're there, but they're hidden deep in the Amazon and they're not contacted by the outside world. The Brazilian Willy Wonka protects them, okay? These indigenous uncontacted peoples and tribes are really one of the only things that are protecting the Amazon. One of the only things that are holding back the deforestation and illegal logging that is occurring that is tearing the lungs of the earth apart. These uncontacted tribes, these are the mother, these are the Mother Mary grid protectors. They're the most impure people on the planet, technically. And they're connected the most to the earth. And this purity is being preserved and protected for a reason. The Amazon rainforest and the new earth golden light city will be the place where the seventh root race will emerge. They are called the seventh Manu. They are prophesied generation of peace and grace for the coming of new earth. And they've been spoken about in a lot of writings and teachings. Like you can literally find it on Wikipedia um, if you search up the seventh race. Um, Madame Blavatsky talks about this. Loria Dale Toy talks about the seventh Manu. They are the prophesied generation of peace and grace coming for the new earth. This race will inhabit from South America. Several new islands will also emerge in the Pacific, such as new earth Lemurian islands, such as Dove Island. You know, all of these uh, beautiful new uh, lands will come forward that these races will inhabit and create culture, create um, new society. These races will have advanced spiritual capabilities such as hypertelepathy and telekinesis abilities, which is hypertelepathy and telekinesis abilities is required is required for higher level unity consciousness on the earth. Advanced intellect, vast spiritual knowledge and wisdom. This will pave the way for the new earth metaphysical venerated population. They will be the ones venerating um, the coming of, of the 12,000 common era. And so I can't say for sure like where in this timeline the seventh race emerges, but I do believe we are in the sixth sub race currently. So we actually are somewhat close to the seventh race emerging if they haven't already started to emerge, if they aren't the uncontacted tribes in the Amazon themselves now and currently that these races come back to teach the world, right? Because think about that. They're existing in this uncontacted state in the Amazon where they are aware of the destruction around them. They are aware of the outsider and the dangers that we have, the, the killing machines, okay? The diseases, they're aware. 
So they hold that wisdom gene code in their DNA. There is a reason for that. It's being protected. This will be during a time also, so when we talk about how far in the future this is going to occur, it could be like another 2,000 years, okay? Because if we have 2027, collapse of the Vatican, Pope Francis, stack another 2,000 years on that, we're going into year 4,000. That sounds about right for the seventh root race to me personally. I resonate with that number. But this will be a time where changes in the sexes may occur and become one sex again. Um, conception and birth will become an entirely spiritual process again, where beings will be aware of the importance of genetic um, compatibility and how they will again know how and they will uphold the 12th dimensional soul blueprint into the planet, their full 12D blueprint intact when they bring soul incarnates into the planet. So the 12D blueprint will be restored. And this is how. And basically all evil and wickedness, cruelty, hatred, and destruction and war will be entirely eliminated off the planet. So something's going to occur between now and the seventh race that radically shifts the patriarchal, dominated, hybrid-bred, warm-minded, negative ET human types in which came for death and destruction and doom and, and corporate corruption. Okay, so um, it's an exciting time with a lot of changes, right? And we have so much to keep in mind when we look at the higher revolutionary 5D timelines and the vision quest of new earth. We begin to really understand the current processes that we're in. And I think it does actually aid and assist um, us with being able to then regain awareness of what exactly we need to be doing to assist and help the planet. 